Hey everybody, so it really wasn't that long ago that the words luxury and personal watercraft didn't go together. PWCs were really just a cheap thrill, something to have fun on, but that has changed. Enter the 2019 SeaDoo GTX Limited. This thing is loaded with every single feature SeaDoo offers and we're going to put them to the test. So we'll hit the water, we'll see if these luxury features really make this thing that much more comfortable and then we'll see if you can still have any fun on it. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Let's start off by taking a look at the unique features here on the Limited and we will start off first thing here in the storage area. Now the storage area is just like other SeaDoo models including this neat cell phone holder which is watertight but the nice thing about the, G the Limited I should say is it comes with the USB port as standard so if you need to charge your phone while it's in there you can do that out on the water and that's exactly what I'm talking about when I say luxury features. Now another thing that's unique to the GTX is this seat. More lumbar bar support for all three riders than any other SeaDoo seat. Once again, just in the name of comfort. Now out back here, you have this faux teak and other SeaDoo models also have sort of this padding on the rear deck but here on the Limited, it just looks a little nicer. So of course the Limited here comes with the link system and I wanna show you how easy it is to pull one accessory off and put another one on. So we had the cooler on there, it pops right off. You can see the cleats, then you get this storage bin it pops right into those link cleats. You do up the latch on one side and boom, you're done. That really is simple and again, nice to have locked, safe and secure storage. And then look at that, switching back really is that easy and just takes two seconds. Now let's go over the specs here on the Limited. So there are two different powertrains available. This is the 300 horsepower model, and then there's also a lesser 230 horsepower model. Now this powertrain is a 1,630cc supercharged engine, and to get all that power, you have to use 91 octane. However, if you do go for the lesser 230 horsepower model, you only need to use 87. So this Limited comes in at 847 pounds dry. Now let's go over the other specs here. So overall length, you have 135.9 inches, width 49.4 inches, and total height 44.9 inches. Now the rider capacity here is three people. Weight capacity for the riders is 600 pounds. And finally, a few things that you can't see. If you do buy a Limited, it's gonna come along with a dry bag for all your stuff. It's gonna come with a cover and then all your safety equipment, including a fire extinguisher. So you don't have to worry about buying any of that stuff separately. So that's enough of me standing here. Let's hit the water and go for a ride. everybody here we are on the water on the GTX Limited and as you can see I've been having a bit of fun I've already got the classic SeaDoo hair going on. So let's talk about this machine. So like I already mentioned, this is SeaDoo's luxury machine. This is sort of top of the line for SeaDoo. Every single one of its convenience features is here. And the first one I'll start with is this seat. So I mentioned it has more lumbar support than any other SeaDoo model, and it is right away noticeable. Now those little ridges, they really don't seem like very much, but it's more than enough to, yeah, it gives you more back support. It kind of helps your posture. It makes you sort of want to sit up straight which is nice and when you are out here sort of getting pounded by the waves it's nice to have a little bit more support back there now I'll go ahead and fire it up and I'll show you a couple other features so first of all, this model features SeaDoo's intelligent throttle control. That means the throttle is totally by throttle by wire. There's no cable connecting this throttle to the actual engine. So the SeaDoo, like most models, boots up in neutral. You simply tap the right handle to put it into forward. If you tap on the left handle, she'll pop back into neutral. And then if you hold down the left while also giving it gas, you'll move in reverse. This is a really intuitive system that SeaDoo has come up with, easy to figure out the first time you hop on. Now some other features here, they're controlled by the handle. So you'll see over here, it looks like a cruise control symbol. If you hold it down while idling, you go into slow mode. And in slow mode, well, it'll keep you moving along nice and slow. And there's actually different speed settings. So you can crank up, the level of slow mode, there's four, there's five. And if we go full level nine, 
it'll hold us right there at six miles per hour and I'm not doing nothing, not touching the throttle, not touching the brake, it'll just cruise along. And this could be handy if you're coming into dock or something or you are doing some sort of, you know, close encounter maneuvers with other machines or docks, buildings, buoys. It, it, it's nice to be able to have that feature. So now when you do get up to speed, that button does act like cruise control using a speed limiter. Let me show you. So we get up to speed. Let me just get through these waves first. Perfect, so there's 21. And now we reach down and hit the button. And you'll see there, speed limiter. So now I can hold down the throttle. The throttle is totally pinned and it will just hold my speed. Now this is essentially cruise control because it's a much more comfortable hand position to just hold that throttle all the way down. And then the best part is you can adjust the speed using the buttons over here. So if you do want to go faster, you crank it up and there you go. It brings you to 30 and it'll hold. Now the screen itself here is actually new for 2019 as well. And this screen is finding its way across a lot of Can-Am models. It's just over seven inches and it shows you all kinds of data. So I can run through here. You can even get water temperature here and then you can go through your settings. So it will show you any codes that it might be throwing. Of course, you can change the units and the clock as well. And then it shows you over here where your trim is on the VTS. There's your nice little clock. There's your fuel. There's a trip. So it really does give you all the pertinent information and you know what, in this Florida sunlight, it does look pretty crisp and clear. So what's it like to ride the GTX Limited? Well, first of all, I have to commend sea on its ergo lock positioning. That's what they call it. It's essentially how your body sits on here. And I can show you right down here, you can see my knee. This little cutout right here really allows you to squeeze into the machine using your legs. And when you're going through the big rough waves, rough trough, it's really nice to have that. Not to mention just sort of this skinny position for your legs is, is comfortable. You're not sort of, you know, spread out wide. Now, another thing with the comfort are these handlebars. I really like what they've done with these grips. They give you a great spot for your thumb and then all of this right here for the inside of your thumb. So when you are going up and down, you can almost remove these fingers and still work it just because of how much grip you have there. They're very comfortable. Now top speed here is limited like every PwC in the US to 68 and a half miles per hour. So no point talking about top speed, but we can talk about acceleration. And this unit goes zero to 60 miles an hour in less than four seconds. It's unbelievable to feel the acceleration out here on the water. And okay, eco mode takeoff on the GTX Limited in three, two, one, go. Okay, touring mode takeoff. Sport mode, but with no launch control in three, two, one, go. Now let's talk stability and you can see me rocking it here. It feels incredibly stable. This is the ST3 hull. It supports a lot of sea different models and especially at slow speeds and then when you're just sitting here floating, it really is stable. And for a big guy like me, I can step on one of the running boards and it's not gonna flip over. And that really does mean something for boarding, getting off this machine, from getting up out of the water on the swim platform, even for someone as heavy as me, this thing still has the stability to support me in the water. So finally, what's it like to really get out there and start turning this thing? Well, on turn in, I didn't feel an incredibly strong bite, but that's okay, right? This is the touring model. What's crucial though, is sort of at that point where you might start to lose traction in the water where the back end might come around on you, this limited just feels stuck into the water. So it's not the ultra aggressive model and that's okay, that's not what it's supposed to be. But still, if you do wanna ride it hard, it's going to return confidence. But that's enough on how it rides. I wanna show you guys some other luxury features. So first of all, we do have this Bluetooth audio system standard on this model. So let's go ahead and turn it on and I can show you just how loud this system is because it is pretty impressive. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to it using my phone. And you can see right here on my iPhone, if it'll focus for us, that it's called the BRP remote. So we hook up to BRP remote and we'll get the tunes cranking here in just a second. 
All right, everybody, there we go. The Bluetooth audio is hooked up. It's real simple on your phone. And I'm bumping the copyright free music from YouTube and just check out how loud this goes. It's seriously impressive, the volume and the bass on this system. And what's more, because these speakers are both pointed directly at me, when you're actually out there ripping at speed, uh, you can still hear the music clear as day. And finally, we have to talk pricing. So I'll throw the numbers up here on screen for both Canada and the US. That is it for the GTX Limited review, guys, and I have one more SeaDoo review coming, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And as always, go below, hit subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, and then come right back here to TFL Off-Road for the latest news, views, and real-world reviews. See ya.